What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the second revision of iOS 18 Beta 3. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a couple of things to talk about, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice upon updating the iOS 18 Beta 3 Revision 2 is that we got the brand new Emoji Picker. So this Emoji Picker has been reverted back to the iOS 18 Beta 2 one, which I think looks a lot better. I do not know why they decided to roll out that Emoji Picker to begin with, but I personally like this one a lot better. It seems more consistent with iOS design. Thank God Apple has reverted this back because I do not like the previous. Alright, so the next thing that we got in the second revision is that we got a brand new bug fix. So if I were to press edit and then customize, you can now effortlessly switch from light and dark mode icons and they even have a fading animation. So before this, there would be a small delay. It's the same with tinted icons. You just easily switch to them if you wanted to. And it's just a lot easier to switch from tinted to dark to light and yeah, and vice versa. All right, those are the only visual changes that we have inside of the second revision of beta three. Now, what about internal changes? We did get an internal change because this is going to be the public beta build of iOS 18 beta 3, it looks like. So basically, Apple's collecting logs differently inside of this beta now, which is why they released the second revision to begin with. And the main reason that they're collecting less logs is because they're anticipating that a lot of people will be jumping forward to the iOS 18 public beta. And Apple just does not want their servers being overloaded with a bunch of analytics files that they probably already have from some other people. This will also mean that battery life is a lot better inside of this build, which I guarantee will happen because this revision removes a lot of the analytics. I do still collect some analytics stuff, but it will feel a lot smoother as well, especially when doing a lot more hardcore tasks. And once the public beta does roll out to everyone, I will be showing you how you can get the public beta for yourself on your iPhone. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!